Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of EverQuest 2. And on this episode, we're going to talk to this little uh, rat guy in front of us, uh, Ernik, and see what he has in store for us. Oh, how I hate the dragoons. They come after Enoch, you know. Yes, tried to carry me away and eats me. Uh, dragons in the Butcher Block Mountains? Yes, the green dragons. They're not the biggest dragons Enoch ever seen, but they must be the hungriest. They tried to eat me. Oh, you mean the Emerald Drakes, ha! Huh? I bet you look like a tasty snack to them. Enoch is no snack. You teach dragoons not to try to eat Enoch, yes? I give you shiny things if you do. Uh, fine, I'll take care of the Drakes for you. Uh, so Enoch is no snack, level 32. Get at least 24 silver and uh, 27 copper. Probably more than that. Yay, Enoch, you give the dragons the big hurt and they don't come after me no more. The dragons fly around the Bernie's trees. You go there and give them death. Yay! Uh, I'll be back in a jiff. Okay, so he uh, definitely doesn't speak uh, English as his first language, but uh, hey, you know, it's well enough that we can understand him. And it's actually a little humorous, so we'll go ahead and go see if we can kill some of these drakes for him. Now, as he said, they're over here where the burning trees are, and we've seen them before, and we, we've even killed a few of them. They're not too hard, even though, or even though the quest says uh, it's like a level 32. I think it's, what was the quest level? Yeah, 32. We should still be able to do this. Make sure they're not linked. In this case, they're not, and they're not heroic or anything of that sort, so hopefully we can just get one. Now, when you do a pull with a spell, keep in mind that if he's too close to another enemy, he will pull the other ones with him. But if you do a body pull, which is just you simply walking up there and getting the aggro because you're too close, uh, you'll have a less chance of getting uh, adds with the body pull. You also have less taunt on the creature when you do that. So if you're going to do that with the pull uh, while you're in a group, make sure you realize, for one, that uh, hold on a second, that when you take it back to your group. The very first thing that anybody does will still aggro from you. If somebody casts a heal spell, it's going to still aggro. If somebody casts a dot, it's going to still aggro because you haven't done any damage to it. All you've done is be the first one to get close. So anytime anybody does anything, it's going to create aggro on them and it's going to outweigh yours. So if you can, make sure you attack it on the way back, cast a spell or something along those lines. A lot of casters can't move when they're casting their spells, whereas tanks like Shadow Knights and things of that sort do have a fair amount of spells they can kind of cast on the run and not get interrupted. Now that's simply because that's the character they're playing is a pool or a tank, and so they give them that ability where they can kind of move around and cast a few spells a little bit high here and there. Uh, not anywhere near as much as you would hope, you know, you're not going to be running around in circles and, and using all your spells. You will still get interrupted uh, a fair amount if that's what you're doing. I can't see the target. Well, apparently he can't see me either because he's not attacking. There we go. And that is a body pool right there. And if there was anybody else with me, chances are it'd be on them right now. These guys are fairly cool looking. In fact, I'll zoom in so you guys can get a better view. Again, guys, if you prefer first person or third person, whatever the case is, uh, let me know. I try to do a little bit of both uh, in each fight, so that uh, those of you who want uh, a Pacific look can still get it. And I need, after this, just one more. Fairly easy. That was actually taking a, a, a lot of damage on some of the earlier videos. Uh, that's because I died and I actually forgot to rebuff myself. Uh, that's something you guys need to keep in mind. When you die, you don't lose the, the buffs on your spell bar like you do in EverQuest 1, but you do have to recast them. It's something that is easily forgotten. <laughs> and uh, usually if you're in a group, somebody will remind you and they'll be like, hey, you know, cast your buffs. I don't have them on right now. Uh, but if you're by yourself, it's something that you can overlook if you're not quite paying attention as much as you should. And uh, it's definitely going to make an impact on your gameplay. You're not going to be able to take things on uh, as easy or as as well at, or you may be not even be able to take it on at all. So, make sure before you run back, you check the quest. Make sure it says to run back, and it doesn't say, oh, while you're there, kill one more. Or these guys 
are okay, but go ahead and try killing a couple of these guys who are annoying me. You know, it's it's sometimes they oh, there's some shinies over here. Sometimes they do have it where they extend the quest even though you're not near them, and it's kind of weird that they have that ability to change the quest. You know, considering you agreed verbally to do one thing, and all of a sudden this magic spell book or magic journal says, "Hey, they actually changed their what they want you to do." Did you give the dragoons the big hurt? Yes, I s slew several of them. They should not bother you anymore. And so uh, Eric is no snack, or Enoch is no snack, level 32, 47 silver, 49 copper. Go ahead and accept. Yay, Enoch now helps me get yummy snacks. So uh, apparently he has another quest line that he wants us to do. We'll do that on the next episode. Again, guys, if you like these, please hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely helps out my channel every time you guys do that, and uh, I appreciate it a great deal. And I want to say uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode.